अच्छा बच्चों आई हैव टू मेक यू क्लियर वो द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द बाइनोमियल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन एंड द जियोमेट्रिक डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ओके फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू मस्ट नो दैट दिस इज रिटर्न एज एक्स इज बाइनोमियली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड विद द पैरामीटर्स एन एंड पी ओके वाइल दिस इज रिटर्न एज एक्स इज जियोमेट्रिकली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड विद द पैरामीटर पी ओके अच्छा here n is n has to be determined it has to be um, available to us this this has to be provided okay so n has to be known in in the case of this binomial distribution here your n is unknown okay and this can go basically up to infinity okay this this has, this can go up to infinity now when you have to find now you know that what is your n what is the number of trials okay and when you have to find for example the probability x equal to let's say this is let's x to 4 suppose you have the situation where where you are throwing a die okay and you are looking at the probability of getting uh, a 5 maybe okay getting a 5 so this and you like in this case let's say you tossing the throwing the die 10 times so this would become i mean this is going to be a binomial distribution with 10 as a number of trials and 1 over 6 as the uh, probability of success okay so when you have to find this probability x equal to 4 that actually means that out of these 10 throws four throws are going to show a 5 there are four fives there okay so this would be Found as ten C four, and to get a five, the probability is one over six, so just about four. And then not to get a five, that is going to be uh, five over six, so this is going to be raised to power six. That is how you get this probability x equal to four. That means there are four times you you get a five when you throw a die ten times. Now in this case. If you find the probability x equal to four, this actually means that it will be the fourth throw on which you will be getting five for the very first time. Okay, here this the number of times the success is going to happen that will always be the first time. Okay, so this would be uh, like five over six not getting a five. That is raised to power three. and then you have to get this 5 so this is going to be 1 over 6 okay so in general we say that if you have to find the probability x equal to r so this will be q raised to power r minus 1 times p this will always be p raised to power 1 remember always this will be p raised to 1 while here if you find the probability x equal to r so this will be n c r p raised to power r And q raised to power n minus r. Okay. Now the problem arises when you have to find in this geometric distribution when you have to find the probability that x is less than r or less than or equal to r, and then you have to find the probability x is greater than r. Okay. Like you remember, we were discussing uh, this June 2020 paper. If I take you there, okay. Uh, Oh, I remember that in in that that was your June twenty paper five one, and that was the very first question. And there, I, I think uh, the probability of success was one over twelve, and the probability of the failure was eleven over twelve. Okay, and you have to find the probability x is less than a. Okay, and I was telling you to use the number line here. X is less than a. Now here it is. Okay, so you have to find probability x is less than a. Now, guys, first thing that you must uh, see here that finding the probability less than a is basically finding the probability x is less than or equal to seven. Now, when you write it as probability x is less than or equal to seven, you are going to basically uh, going to tell that yes, at the maximum we are going to uh, try this. For seven times, okay. So look at this. How this can uh, take place? You can succeed in the very first throw. You can succeed in the second throw. You can succeed in the third throw, or you can succeed in the fourth 
and similarly fifth and then the sixth okay the seven or this can happen that you don't succeed at all so probability x is less than or equal to seven to find this you can either add all of these okay so this is going to be a difficult task so you can subtract this one from one so this is going to be one minus q raised to the power seven and in that case in this particular question case this is going to be equal to um, 11 1 minus 11 over 12 raised to power 7. Okay? So this was done correctly, but when I was adding something into it that, okay, suppose in the same question, you have to find the probability that x is greater than 8. x is greater than 8. How would you find that? Okay, so again, if you use this number line over here, now this would mean that now the success is going to happen after this eight, maybe from nine onwards, okay? From nine onwards, you can be successful on these trials here. So this actually means that we are very clear that the success is not happening in the first eight trials. So uh, this probability X is greater than eight is same as that this is going to be Q raised to power eight, or this is going to be 11 over 12 raised to power eight. So please remember this guys, that if you have to find less than value situation, you, you can find this more conveniently by considering this one minus Q raised to power whatever you have here, okay? And for this greater than situation, you can simply have this Q raised to power whatever that suits in the given situation. Okay, I hope I have made it clear the differences or the relations between the binomial and the geometric distribution and how to deal uh, with these complicated situations here. Okay, and one more difference that we have here, uh, that is for the mean over here. Here you can find the mean through NP and here the mean is simply one over. Is there any question? That is hitting your mind? Sir, so if the probability of succeeding was x is greater than or equal to 8, the pair we would have used um, q, sir, raised, q to raised to power 7, right? Yes, Veda, that would be q raised to power 7. Okay. Yes, okay, thank you, sir. Okay, Veda, that's it from, from, for this session where we have compared the binomial and the geometric distributions. Thank you very much.